Hey guys, what's up? Got a little show and tell for you. Um, I work in Alaska for the summers at a, at a fishing lodge. We're land-based and we cater to high-end clientele that fly up to the lodge to fish for a couple of days. As the years have gone on and the people who own property and homes on, near the lodge have decided they don't want to live there anymore and they move out and sell their property, the lodge has bought up those lots in order to expand their facilities so that they can provide a more expanded and better experience for the clientele. Well, two years ago, when cleaning out one of these old buildings, I came across a really unique item. An old mountaineering axe. I, I found this, I grabbed it, I presented it to the owner of the lodge when I could find him and I asked if I could purchase it from him, being that it did come out of one of his buildings and it was rightfully his. He said that I could have it, being that I'd already worked there a couple summers and I was in good rapport. I was stoked. Took it home and have since cleaned it up and have kind of been the envy of my co-workers ever since. Now, let's go over some of the specs on here. As you can see, this is not an ice axe. This is a mountaineering axe because the spike on the front is not serrated and it's not thin. It is actually quite thick and there are no serrations and it's rather straight instead of being curved down like you see on a lot of modern ice axes today. The back, you kind of got a hoe end on the back for digging in the ground and the spike and hoe end together provide for a rather good purchase when you're walking with it on steep terrain. You have two steel shanks that attach the head to the solid wooden shaft. I'm not sure what this wood is, but it is very sturdy. Um, the, the steel shanks are held onto the shaft not by tension, but by three pins that go from stem to stern. There is one pin, I don't know if you can see that, right there. Second pin is right here third pin is right there. Now, let me see. Uh, also, okay, you got the steel, you got the wooden shaft. Like I said before, I'm not sure what it is, but it is solid. On the base here, we have a solid steel butt cap with a square steel peg for being the ground to provide purchase. This is also held both to the butt plate and the wooden shaft via a pin right there that goes through and through. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. Final little feature is this this metal uh, ring. I'm not sure if that's steel, might be aluminum, I'm not sure. Held onto the mountaineering axe via a screw stop. And it's got a little uh, nylon lanyard. So when you're walking with it, you know, like this. You don't lose it. Now, the markings here. I don't know if you guys can see these, but we're going to try. Right here, it says Recreational Iger Equipment. Right there. You can see it. On the back here, it has two markings. Both are kind of faded and going away due to the amount of rust that was initially on this when I found it, after I cleaned it up. The mark on the left here says made in Switzerland. Right there. And the second mark, I believe, says Marque Michebel, which I believe is a product name. Now, the really interesting thing on here is the lanyard, which says, let me spread it out and show you here, so you guys don't say I'm not fibbing. This is a long piece of hardware, guys. It says, Recreational Equipment Seattle. Right here. 
Now, that's rather interesting because Recreational Equipment Seattle was the initial name, or so I'm told, that's some pretty credible sources I have, that was the original name and location of what we know today as REI. Very well known, very uh, reputable sporting goods dealer. They deal in things like backpacks, tents, sleeping bags, backpacking stoves, water filters, that kind of stuff. So, I'm not sure exactly the name brand of this axe. I suspect it is Marque Michabel, as I've shown you, or Recreational Iger Equipment. But, due to this lanyard, I suspect that this was an REI marketed item. It dates back from people I've talked to who know their stuff. It dates back to probably the 60s, maybe the 70s. It's, it's an older style mountaineering axe. It's very sturdy, it's very strong. It's about two and a half feet long. Uh, the wooden steel shaft is very straight. It has a little bit of warping on this direction and this way. But other than that, it is a very solid piece and it really a nice wall hanger uh, in my room. And the, everyone who comes over really gets a, get, gets, gets a big kick out of it if I show it to them. So, just wanted to show that to you guys. Just going to give you an example of stuff you can find in the most uh, unlikely of places or just unexpectedly find a little treasure. Hope you guys liked it. We'll see you next time.